Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll share how I use markup and notability to fill out forms paperlessly. This is hardly a revelation, it is so straightforward, but I stubbornly refuse to fill out paper forms anymore. You get a form by email, print it out, fill it in by hand, and then what? Scan it back in in order to email it? No. Instead, I either use iOS's built-in markup tool or Notability, which is my favorite handwriting integrated app. I'll fill out forms and then email them back without touching a printer or a piece of paper. If needed, of course, you can choose to print them from Notability. Markup tool. Just a quick note about when I use the built-in markup tool. This is a new iOS tool for PDF and photo markup, and it is really coming along. You can access it by either pressing on an attachment to get additional options and choosing markup, or by opening the document and choosing the markup icon, which looks like a toolbox. I like to use it for quick and simple edits, like a photo where I highlight a word or a form that only requires my name and signature. Um, just make your edits and it saves your edited document to a reply email which makes it quick and easy to respond. The problem is that it is limited. For example, it doesn't have an eraser tool, just an undo option, and once your edits are saved, you can't undo them. So, if I'm filling out a longer form or I want to save the form to use or access later, I use Notability. To do this, open the PDF attachment from your email, choose the share option, and then choose import with Notability. So you can customize which apps come up for sharing and the order in which they appear if you scroll all the way to the right and you choose more. There are a bunch of things that I love about using Notability, but forms are fairly simple and straightforward. I use black ink and I choose a thin pen and I fill it out. I can erase without affecting the original PDF or image. I can highlight um, or I can cut and then move my edits around. So then I can save the form just in case I need to revisit it later. More on this in a second. I can change the title to something more descriptive and this title will now become the name of the PDF that I will ultimately send. And then I can email it to a recipient or attach it to the response to the original email. Emailing to a recipient is easy, but you do have to either copy and paste or type in the email address. Choose share, then email, fill out your mail message, and done. Attach to reply email. Most of the time, I would rather attach the filled out form as a reply to the original message to preserve the original context. In order to attach this to your email reply, I like to use iCloud Drive. You can also use Google Drive or a couple of other storage, um, cloud storage services, but they are clunkier for this purpose. iCloud Drive is different from iCloud Backup. iCloud Backup is a service that allows you to sync your Notability notes from your iPad to your other Apple devices. I use this as well. But iCloud Drive is basically storage that you can access through innate apps like Mail. You may have to check to see if the iCloud Drive app is installed on your iPad, but I'm pretty sure it was installed as part of an iOS update. If you open up this hidden app, you can create or delete folders. You can see that I've added one for Notability. Okay, so this function is a little hidden in Notability, so you'll have to bear with me. Within Notability, choose the Share button, and then now choose Other Apps, and hit the Share Note button. Now choose uh, Add to iCloud Drive. I'm going to put this PDF in the Notability folder that I created. Okay, now go back into your email app and reply to the original message. And once you're in the message, you can choose to attach a file. Find your file and now it's attached. Save for later. Notability has organized notes by first divider and then by subject, kind of like a giant school notebook. I have a divider called Home Notes and I keep a subject called Forms to house all of the forms that I fill out. Some of the forms are temporary, like these forms that I filled out for our Japan trip earlier this year, 
So now that the trip is over, I can delete them, but I wanted to keep them for a little while just in case I needed to make changes and resubmit. It would be super annoying to have to do all of that work again if I didn't have to. Some of my notes stay in this folder permanently. For example, we use a mail or away prescription service and I have to fill out the same form for each person every time I place a new order. So I keep a template of those forms ready. That way I only have to change the date and potentially the prescribing doctor's name. Then I can print it out, stick it in an envelope with the prescription sheet and done. Stylus. Okay, just a quick note on styluses. I got an Apple Pencil for Christmas last year since I've been trying to create more visual art on the iPad, but you definitely don't need anything sophisticated to make use of Notability's handwriting function. In fact, my favorite stylus up until then was this capacitive stylus, which is now $7.50 as an Amazon add-on. I also have an iPad case that has a loop in it for a stylus since I use it so frequently. Let me know what you think. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.